Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Sivatan Kamani, an integration technical architect. In this video, we will be talking about uh, how to host a HTTPS service with the SSL certificates. Let's get started. Before we start looking into how we can create HTTPS API, we will see how SSL works. It's very simple. So you're going to host an e-commerce website uh, which allows the users to buy something from your website. And uh, users are going to enter uh, some credit card and address and other important sensitive information in order to buy something from your uh, e-commerce website. So the idea is to protect uh, users' data from uh, from being stolen by third parties. Uh, the data has to be secured by proper encryption between the between your hosted server and the uh, user's computer. In order to achieve this uh, SSL certificate, uh, you need to approach uh, trusted certificate authorities and you need to buy. So in order to buy that, uh, you need some basic key information which is only known to you, which will serve as a seed uh, for uh, uh, creating this uh, uh, certificate, which will be helpful to do this encryption. So uh, you have to create uh, your own private key first and uh, then you need to create a, a public key. So private key, you will have it yourself uh, in a secured way and you will create a public key based on this uh, private key in order to share this information to the certificate authorities. So there are totally five steps to achieve this. So the first one is to create private key uh, with our random uh, uh, key generation tool, we will create it. And based on that, we are going to create a public key. Uh, in a real world, uh, this public key is what will be shared uh, to the certificate authorities. But uh, uh, in this case, uh, we will be importing both keys uh, into a single P12 file in order to create a, a certificate and uh, a related key stores and trust stores so that we can uh, create our own HTTPS. To start with, I have created an empty folder which, uh, which is going to be used for storing uh, private key and uh, certificates. And uh, now uh, let's go to command prompt and open uh, git file and get into bin and uh, let's go to bash. And uh, then we will navigate to this uh, empty folder. So let's go there. And uh, so uh, we navigated to the key demo. And uh, we are going to execute the first command to create the private key. And in order to do that, this all this are happening in OpenSSL command. So we need to choose uh, OpenSSL. And it, it uh, prompts you to give uh, OpenSSL commands. You are ready to do the OpenSSL commands now. So let's copy this. And I will put all these commands in the description below, which you can uh, uh, use instantly. You don't need to memorize this. So we have created this uh, uh, private key with the help of this command. So um, it's automatically created with the 1024 uh, size. And let's see what it looks like. So this is a private key. You can see here it starts here, it ends here. This is a random sequence of uh, characters and uh, which nobody is going to assume and then try to steal our information because in order to assume these uh, uh, many width of characters uh, by randomly, uh, it, might, it might take 200, 300 years. So we need to trust this random key generated. And now let's create a, a public key based on this private key. You can see here the key information is used in order to create this public key. Let's issue this command now. So this country, I'm going to give US and I'm going to give Illinois, I'm going to give Chicago and organization is Shiva, 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 Shiva at Shiva.com. So it's done. Now let's go to this uh, so you can see here uh, the public key is created. Let's uh, name it as uh, certificate 
and uh, I have a key tool which is used to explore the keys. So let's uh, drag and drop and then see how it looks like. So you can see all the information here, whatever we have given based on that uh, the public key is created. So this is a public certificate. If you double click and open, you can see uh, some information. And uh, this will contain, uh, if you navigate uh, to these details, you can see the public key. So which will be used by the certificate authorities to come up with their trusted uh, certificate. So let's go into the next step. So now we are going to combine these both uh, uh, private and public keys together into a P12 uh, key store file. So for that, uh, we are going to issue this command. I think uh, we need to give CER here. So when you give this command, it asks for the password. So I'm typing my name. So I'm typing name name as Shiva Kumar and then it created. So now you can see here this uh, .p12 file is created successfully. And now um, we need to go into the key tool which is available in our uh, Java command in order to create this uh, key store and trust store uh, uh, files. So let's copy this. And uh, you can go to the uh, command prompt again and uh, you can get into this uh, directory oh. uh, here we will issue this command let's go there and copy this command so this is a key tool uh, command which is available uh, where uh, we are going to create this uh, key store file let's enter it and it's asking for the destination password i'm going to give my name and the uh, .p12 file is changed here let's update this and then we will copy this it's asking for the password So I have given all the password uh, with my name and it's created successfully. So let's go back and see uh, the key store is created successfully. Let's examine that. So I have the uh, default app to open this, uh, uh, which is a key store explorer, which you can use it. So it's asking for the password. Let me type my name. And you can see it's created and uh, entry name alias name is one by default so you can please note that and uh, the final step is to create a trust store and uh, we have already created a, a key store and with the help of public key we are going to create this trust store let's see let's do that It's asking for the key store password. And uh, the public key certificate name is changed. So I'm going to update it here. So with that, uh, we are going to create a trust store. Let's give that command now. It's asking for the password so it's created and it's asking uh, whether we need to trust this certificate obviously yes and you can see here the trust store is also created so uh, we are going to use this key store and trust store in our mule application in order to use this uh, SSL certificate so let's go back to mule soft so i have already created a mule for uh, flow where i have introduced this http listener let's double click and open it and uh, let's see the configurations there so i have chosen instead of http i have chosen https 
and under the TLS uh, we need to enforce uh, instead of using default uh, we need to enforce using this JKS file which we have just created. So I have created the JKS uh, path and I have created the I have used the password which I have used in order to create it and uh, the server is up and running now so now let's uh, go back and see how it works so now i'm i'm using this uh, uh, http path here i'm getting i'm able to get the success value let's invest investigate the site information so it says your connection is not secured because uh, nobody is going to believe the certificate uh, created by me obviously browser doesn't believe me so uh, if you get uh, this certificate uh, process and you get from trusted certificate authorities the browser is of of course is going to trust you so let's see the certificate and this is a certificate we have created and issued by me and issued to me and the details you can see other details here so these are the steps uh, uh, that are used to uh, establish this uh, https uh, services so that's the end of this video about creating https api in mule 4 hope you liked it and please uh, like my video and subscribe my channel and soon i will come up with more useful topics shortly thank you again Bye.